Well, a very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another Fly Deck Sim live stream today. It is the 3rd of April 2024. It's three minutes past five in the evening here in uh, um, <laughs> the UK in Microsoft Flight Simulator in the BAE 146 version 2 update. Um, I think imminently to be released, maybe today, tomorrow, some point this week, I hope. Uh, but yeah, great to be uh, streaming with you guys again. I've been really, really busy. Um, I'm in the middle of my training captain course at the moment, so becoming a what we call a line training captain. So I've been out of base the last week and um, training new uh, captains and um, direct entry pilots from other airlines as well. It's been quite an eye-opening experience. It's uh, something you need to be really vigilant with. But anyway, we could talk about that on another day. Uh, but anyway, uh, Mass Effects are just like who sent me uh, a copy of their V2 version here, which brings uh, the UNS FMC and G full GSX integration, which works really well with their tablet as well. Loads of other bug fixes and and improvements too, which I hope to showcase on this short sector from Copenhagen, which we've been into and out of many times before. So I've got this excellent scenery from Fly Tampa. We're going to Prague, another airport we've been to a lot as well. I really wanted a VATSIM event today, so we could actually utilise the FMC, potentially hold, and um, this has some nice complex RNAV SIDs, and, and we have an RNAV star into Prague, so we can see how the, the 146 behaves. It's been a long time since we've flown it, I think almost a year. So nice to see these new features improve. It did have an FMC before. It was just like the default basic uh, MSFS uh, FMC, which was uh, yeah, very basic. It's nice to see a, a more realistic FMC in here. Uh, anyway, before we zoom in towards the aircraft, let's see who we have here in chat. We have Lee Russell. He says, evening, Skipper. Hope you are well. Flew the 146 yesterday. Nice update in Great Little Plane. It might be that the update's already public. I, I'm not completely aware, but uh, I, I was hoping to do this uh, a few days before, but I was I'd be very, very busy. I only got home a couple of days ago. Um, Michelangelo's here as well. Hello, everyone. He says Pangolin, Domino, Mosina, uh, Natch Hops is here. He says hello, Captain. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Abby, Craig, uh, Howarth, uh, Domino, Mosina. Abby Kyo has been a member for a significant amount of time. Daffy as well. He says, I'm here. Hope you're doing well. 40 months as a member. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate that. Uh, Lightspeed fans, thanks for not deafening me today. You're welcome. And uh, PTS is here too. But yeah, looking forward to, to uh, flying this aircraft. Uh, yeah, flight time about an hour or so. We're only going to be able to get up to uh, 27,000 feet. Now, there's great uh, news. There's ATC here as well. So we can uh, contact them on VATSIM. And as I said, I think the event in Prague starts imminently, so by the time we get there, we should be in the thick of it there. So yeah, here we have the Fly Tapper scenery. We've got the GSX profile. There's a Wizz Air Airbus A321, 20? I don't know. Uh, uh, there's an Airbus. But uh, here we are, the Alpaca Airways 146. Live time, live weather. It's going to be a lovely sunset flight uh, over to the Czech Republic today. Uh, Ankatar says, hi everyone, can't wait to visit Airbus in uh, Hamburg tour. Ah, enjoy. And uh, yes, Jablin's uh, livery here as well, if you would like to to uh, adorn the Alpaca Airways livery here, there is the link for it there as well. Uh, excellent, yeah, completely cold and dark. Um, show you all the nice features as well. We've logged into New Sky as well. So you can see here, I've already started the flight. Alpaca 1 for Juliet Foxtrot to uh, Prague. So uh, we'll see if we can get a perfect 10 uh, for our flight today uh, over to Prague. Perfect. Right, with that then, I will jump into the cockpit. And um, what I'll do, I'll start the boarding process nice and early. Uh, so you can sort of see the um, uh, GSX, uh, GSX integration uh, work from scratch. Let me just turn that down here. So let's get some electrical power. Again, remember, I do not fly this aeroplane. Uh, I last went nine months ago. I did a little bit of a test sector yesterday. I'm sort of can get it from A to B, but um, I'm following this really nice checklist I found online on the flightsim.io website uh, by PHBKO, um, which sort of gets the aircraft set up uh, nicely. Hayden, thank you very much for your two pounds. I hope you're doing very well, sir. Very kind of you. <laughs> GNT. Hi, Cap. Have a great stream and mine's a GNT PLS. Uh, mine's a GNT. Uh, well, it's very, very well priced GNT, Hayden. If it's uh, for two quid, <laughs> I'm joking. Thank you very much for your uh, generosity there and your contribution. And as a member, I hope you're, you've been keeping well. Thank you. Um, uh, Vigo Fiends is here too. Uh, I think I saw someone swing today that said the release would be tomorrow. Ah, okay, very good. Oh, yeah, it, should, it should be imminent, guys. Right, so let's get some electrical power on the aircraft. Now, I love it when you start uh, the battery on this. You've got this shop bell sound. <laughs> Ding, there we are. Uh, external power should be... Oh, no, it's not connected. So we'll go over here, ground power. You can hear that diesel generator fire up. Oh, yes. There we go. Uh, so that should be available. Uh, so we'll put that on the bus. There we are. So we have external power connected. And as mentioned, this update now has full GSX integration. So when you fire up GSX, which I'll do now, 
Uh, F1. So, sim brief profiles linked. We're going to request boarding. boarding requested. And we'll choose, let's go with Menzies. I've heard of them. And it opens all the doors, the stairs automatically for you. Uh, and it, as I said, it fully synchronizes here. You don't have to worry about the numbers here. It fully synchronizes with your Simbri flight plan and GSX as well. Um, so now we've started the boarding process. It'll ask me, do you want to board crew shortly? And you'll see Jim and I walk from the terminal. Uh, I've got the GSX profile I found online. I think it's a couple of years old, but it seems to work well. And we've got some miniature air stairs connected. With all the variants of the, the Just Flight uh, 146, the 100, 200, 300, it has full GSX integration, which is pretty cool. And is the Just Flight here as well? I hope you're doing well. Good evening, all. Yes, the update will be released tomorrow morning. We're pretty close to being ready to go of it. Thank you. And uh, Martin from Just Flight literally sent me out this latest update about an hour ago, which I've not tested. So so it should be, it was just some minor tweaks here and there. So uh, that's very good. Right, well, both the uh, pilots, pilots and crew. Excellent, so we've got the battery on, GPU's connected, and navigation lights are on up here. Everything on the 146 is all over the place. You've got some lighting up here. So that can go to high. No smoking side, we'll put that to auto. Cabin emergency lighting to arm. Uh, brake selectors on yellow, on the yellow hydraulic system with the parking brakes set. Uh, your damper 1 and 2 switches they're all the way up here on what a pilot master switch on avionics master switches on anti-skid system can come on uh, yellow and green lift spoilers uh, on uh, bus tie AC and DC to auto uh, I think they are here so I'll put, I will put the DC pump on now, but we'll put the AC pump to auto. I think there might be different switches, but we'll try and find those switches later. Uh, standby inverter and generator to arm. I think they are down here. Ah, this is the switches I was looking for. Yeah, well, they are now in arm. Galley switch on, so they can start making coffees. Generator 1 and 4. Uh, the IDGs come from 1 and 4, the hydraulics I think from 2 and 3, but they're off for now. And the APU generator switch on, even though the APU isn't running. But uh, that switch is... where are you? There we are. That can go to on. Perfect. We'll start the APU now, so we need the left inner fuel pump for the APU. APU master switch. You simply move this to start, and it starts the APU straight away. And you uh, will jump outside. Oh look! That's Jim and I. If you ever wanted to know what Jim looked like, oh my god, what's he got on his shoulder? <laughs> there he is. Was that me? That, was that me? I don't know, but uh, you can see the pilots are boarding. There's the APU start, and we got butter or bust. Uh, I think because we've got no hydraulics, it sort of leaves open a little bit like that. Um, tw uh, James Hodson says 27,000 feet, a lot of centipedes and rudder pedal confusion. Once stayed in an alpaca hotel at Val d'Azur about 40 years ago. What are you on about, James? Thank you. Um, and he says, uh, is alpaca boost charged at 1987 prices? They're brilliant. That was two quid there. Uh, uh, Hayden says, alpaca GNT is keenly priced. Brilliant. Lee says, oh, maybe I didn't fly with the update then. Was still good, the 146. Yeah, I think there's nothing wrong with the previous one. This just brings a lot more functionality to the 146, which is pretty cool. Uh, Jim seems to be walking in a funny way. Brilliant. Uh, why is the back open like that? I think it just... I've got no hydraulics on, so it sort of opens up a little bit. And then when I pressurise the hydraulics, it will close straight away. Uh, ah, here come our... Uh, cabin crew. Oh, such a stubby looking plane. There we are. Again, the GSX, they choose this really dull uniform. I've never seen a sort of uniform in sort of army green. <laughs> there they are. We've got the, the four girls coming to, to load 120 passengers on or whatever we need. Right, uh, APU's up and running, so we won't put it on the bus. We'll leave the external, external power connected. We'll turn the APU air on and the pack one or two on. On the ground I think you only use one pack um, and you can hear now the conditioned air coming into the, the cabin. You can see the uh, TGT slightly increasing as well as there's demand coming from the APU. Right, uh, initial pre-flight procedure then, so cockpit lighting as required. So we'll turn it up slightly because it will be sort of a, a dusk flight. Um, the rest we can do down here I believe at the rear of the pedestal. There we are, and uh, lighting up here. Oh, I, I don't know where ha half the lighting switches are, so so I think there's some up here I need to rotate at some point. There they are. So we'll just turn that up. Perfect. And we'll turn up Jim's lighting for him, because he doesn't know how to do it yet. Uh, Jim, where's your lighting controls, is it? Down here, there we go. There you go, Jim. Uh, excellent, so that's all done. 
master warning system push to test cancel excellent the passenger boarding has started that's good uh, ground tests we perform so you could test multiple uh, ground tests APU fire stall warning tests here's the stall stall warning test I always comment on this the A10 warthog uh, Gatling gun <laughs> That's what exactly what it sounds like. Uh, ground tests have done the DC pump uh, on. Is that some. Yeah, that's already on. I think that's for some sort of hydraulic test. DC pump off, AC pump off. Yeah, I think you just t turn the pump on temporarily. Check the hydraulics pressure eyes. No, it doesn't actually close the, the speed brake. Maybe it's a different pump. And then you put that back to. Uh, oh no, you put the PTU on. There we are, so I think, there you go, that will close the clamp. So the PTU is using, I think, the other hydraulic system to pressurise. So these are just tests at this stage. So we'll do that there, off, and then uh, AC pump off and PTU off. So these are just tests. Uh, engine 1 to 4, engine anti-ice on. So this comes on at this stage, I've never fully understood. I think someone explained to me once why you turn the engine anti-ice on when the engine's off. But I can't remember why, but that is what the checklist says. Uh, flight deck emergency lighting. Uh, we can arm. There we are. See, oh, look! All the passengers coming in. Look at them. All very happy. Look, he's having a good old look, isn't he? It's very cool coming out the terminal. I love how GSX sort of simulates all the passengers spewling around the aircraft as well. Uh, Andy says GSX passengers walk like zombies that have been uh, simulated by the ball. Brilliant. Um, Two tons says sounds like an electric turkey carver. My goodness, what electric turkey carver you got? Flipping heck. Uh, good. So, yeah, we've got the engine anti ice on, flight deck emergency lighting. Uh, leave that armed. Uh, your damper one and two on, which is down here on the pedestal. Uh, check the oxygen. Doors, air stairs are open, parking brakes set. Thrust levers verifying the fuel off position, which they are. Um, hydraulics are now off. Um, Pressure around you to set, so 27,000 feet. I think you push this all the way to 27. And it's in auto, so it's going to pressurise for us. Seatbelt sign on. That's down here somewhere. There we go. Uh, refueling should be done. I'll take a little bit of extra fuel. And next, it's the uh, FMC, really, or the UNS, which we'll, we'll load uh, shortly. Actually, before we do that, I might just get the clearance and the ATIS first, because we do have that here. So, ATIS is. Uh, one two two eight five five. The setup's going to probably take a tad longer because I'm again I'm not familiar with this this aircraft and with full ATC I want to copy all the weather and ATC and uh, ATIS and get everything as realistically as possible. Right, I don't think the ATIS is on voice. One two two eight five five. Oh, it helps if I turn the radio on. Ah, oh no, it's cleared it all. One two two eight five five. No, still not coming through. I don't know, I'll get on text anyway. Uh, Copenhagen departure, information alpha, 1520 Zulu. So it's a bit old. It's about an hour old. Um, oh, it's 04 right for departure. Interesting. It's a good job we've got the ATIS. I was planning for 2 2 right. So 04 right, 1203, 3 degrees. QH is 1009, which is already set. Uh, unable to perform customised pushback intersection Bravo 1 to Bravo 4 available. Okay. Uh, interesting. Uh, so yeah, overcast at 1700. It's it's a bit nippy at three degrees. QNH is one double nine. I'll just get the uh, clearance now, and we are due out at uh, 45. I put one uh, one six four five Zulu. Remember the clocks have changed now. So let's contact. We've got tower, no ground. So tower one eight one zero five. Squawk double seven two four. We're expecting a sallow so one alpha now. Departure. Boarding's already done, look. <laughs> it's the old right. lady, look, just taking her time. I wonder what she's got on her hand. Right. Five, six, four, I want to see what quick. she's reading. Do you have a copy off there, madam? I want to know what she's reading. What is it? What is that? Can you see, guys? What? Microsoft what? Five, five, got to pause out. I don't want to know what she's reading. <laughs> Oh right, boarding's complete. Doors yeah, are closed. Uh, the passenger in great one, hands. Let's hope so, the game, dude. Uh, facing to the west. I think it's a full load of passengers. Facing west. Omzi bus simulator. Uh, <laughs> 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 Cracky, the cabin crew are keen. 
bus manual looks like, obviously. Brilliant. I might have to download that and play that at some point for for, uh, for a laugh. Uh, I'll get my clearance now. Oh. Tower, hello, it's Alpaca 1 for Juliet Foxtrot Stand Foxtrot 1 Information Alpha. QNH 1009, departure clearance to Prague, please. Alpaca 14 Juliet Foxtrot Alpaca has located to Prague, Salo 1150 Martin, 045, talk to 150. Uh, cleared to Prague on the Salo 1 Alpha, off runway 04 right, and just the squawk again please, Alpaca 14 Juliet Foxtrot. Squawk 2150. Squawk 2150, Alpaca 14 Juliet Foxtrot. Alpaca 14 Juliet Foxtrot, we beg you straight. Perfect. So we've got the squawk and the clearance. Uh, we'll put the cello in the FMC and uh, two, one, five, zero. Perfect. So, for those of you who um, fly the Fly J Sim Dash Eight, you'll recognise this FMC. It's the UNS same unit, I think, essentially. Um, so we'll power it up. We'll power up Jim's as well. Whether I'll use that and transfer it across, I, I don't know. But uh, you can see it's doing all its passes. It's fully synchronised with Navigraph as well. So if you've got a Navigraph subscription, you can have the latest data. So it, oh no, I know what. I updated it. Damn it. Oh, I updated the aircraft. So at the moment, because it's a beta or, or a, um, a new um, update, I forgot to update the subscription. Okay, uh, let's see if um, it has it, I don't know if I can run the data because I updated it yesterday because I've updated the aircraft it's not like it, it's dragged into the community folder like the installer it's cleared the database so I I don't want to update it whilst I'm in the sim because that might break it I think so let's hope the fly plan is uh, they haven't changed the charts oh dear oh dear oh dear damn it uh, right, so charts. Let's try the flight plan first. So, Salo, let's, let's just try. Uh, so, the order we need to do this is flight plan. We'll put in Copenhagen. Uh, and I've just realised I can't bring up the flight plan here, can I? Um, no, I don't know if it's open on a separate chart here. I'll, you'll have to just listen to me put the flight plan in. Uh, or I can just keep moving over here. So, Salo 1 Charlie, let's fight. But Copenhagen first, Echo Kilo, Charlie, Hotel, Salo 1 Alpha, except. So it's menu, departure. Uh, 04 right is number 2. Let's hope they've not changed in the last year. Oh no, they haven't. Okay, cool. Alright, that's a good start. So we've got the routing in, so you go back to flight plan, there we are, so it's got all the points in, we'll check all these, and after Salo you press list, oh no you press line select key list, and I know you can't see the flight plan now guys, but after Salo, mic 4-4 to Kogim, so we press airway, one is mic 4-4, and Kogim is one as well. There you go, and that's how you insert the route from there. From Kogim, it's Mike 725 Hodor. Hodor. <laughs> ah, no, I've made a mistake here. So line select key. List. Airway. From Kogim, Mike 725. So it's a real, it's a real pain to fill in, but it does work. Twenty-four, but you can, if you, if you can't be bothered to enter it, you can sync. You can download a little file, put it in the relevant place, and uh, you can, you can uh, sync it with Simbrief. This one's manual, so I put Gollop. Enter. Now, fingers crossed, the arrival into Prague uh, hasn't changed. That's going to be. Menu arrival. That's it. So runway into. Ah, uh, no. Hold on. I need to go back to flight plan and put Prague in. There we are. Uh, got up. So line select key there. Prague is Lima, Kilo, Papa, Romeo. Accept. Pra ah no. No, I just go list now. Menu. Uh, 
Ah, arrival. Now, because you put Prague in, it recognises it. So it's going to be runway 24 today. Enter. Fingers crossed for the Gollop 4 Sierra. It's there! Okay, looks like, even though it's expired, the flight plan is not too bad. RS241. And it's going to be... Ooh, a quick reminder of my uh, arrival here. If I just bring up Navigraph for you to see as well, guys. Uh, so it's a Gollop 4 Sierra by Irasu. So one is Irasu. There we go, and that should be the full transition. And then Erasu joins up via Papa Romeo 531. So we'll go to flight plan. Yeah, there might be some discontinuities. So we've got Erasu vectors Erasu. So what I'm going to do is delete. Where's delete here? Delete. I'm going to get. We've got because we've got a duplicate Erasu. I'm going to delete that as well. So we are. I've got Papa Romeo 518 to Arasu, which is on the arrival. Papa Romeo 518 to Arasu. From Arasu, it's Papa Romeo 531. There we are. So it's all in. It has a very basic VNAV function, which it doesn't have a VNAV mode you can select, I don't think, but you can set your target rate of descent to to just like in the uh, Dash 8, which is quite cool. So that's the lateral routing sorted. The only other thing is the fuel. Okay, so you go to the fuel page. Oh, it's no, I've gone back to pounds now. Because I've updated it, everything's reset, so I want this back to kilos again. How do I change that to kilos? There we are. Menu. Perfect. So I'm just going to take a smidge extra fuel. Um, if you see here on the flight plan, we need 4868. So that's a minimum of 5 tonnes. So if I just go here to the loader, so 5 tonnes, why is that not, let me select that, there we are. So we've got the bare minimum here, you can see the APU's running here, so what I'm going to do is is put, well, should we, should we check it, well, how's the weather in Prague? You know what happens guys, don't you, when I take standard fuel, what happens when I get to the destination, <laughs> it's really busy. Should I take standard fuel guys, the weather in Prague is, yeah, you know what, it's okay, there's no reason why I wouldn't, it's a low cloud base forecast. It, Broken a thousand, but fine for the cap on ILS. Should I take standard fuel? I'll round it up to the nearest uh, plus hundred and then round it up to another hundred. So if I go five two, what's that going to be each side? Uh, two five fifty. So two five fifty. And we can check the fuel burn along the route, can't we? Uh oh, something's not happy. Two five fifty. There we are. So I've got minimum fuel. You only live once. No one vats him. Take 30 minutes extra. Now nah, we'll be fine, two tons. We'll be fine. Just don't clip this bit. Two five fifty aside. So that's that's five uh, well, five one. Uh, and then the flight plan. Yeah, look, four eight six eight standard fuel. That's enough to get to our alternate, which is is it Bruno? Bruno? I could never pronounce this place there. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, Dave Cat, there is Simbrief integra integration. Yeah, so it's copied that fuel, had that in the tanks, GSX integration, and you can copy your flight plan across if you can't be bothered. But there we are, fuel on board now, 5 1. Why is that hamper? Because <laughs> it doesn't think I've got enough. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it'll be fine. We'll go off the flight plan. Uh, I did the test section, it was very accurate to the, the flight plan there. And uh, there is a, a 146 profile. Good, so the FMC is loaded. Um, we can tune some nav aids as backup, uh, but we're going to use the RNAV feature for the RNAV SID and, and arm LNAV for takeoff. So uh, if I close this chart, you can see there should be a VOR on station. Yes, yeah, the car struck VOR, 112.5. So let's turn this on here. On, we'll tune 112.5. Uh, I'll use my radio tuning aid. There we are. So you can see the VORs come alive already on the HSI. We'll t turn on gyms as well. One, one, two, decimal five. There we are. So we've got DME information off the Copenhagen VOR. But if I press this switch to RNAV, like this, it's going to follow the planned FMC routing, which is what we want. So RNAV, Jim, you can have RNAV. We've got it backed up with DME if we need to. Uh, perfect. So that's all done. The FMS is loaded. Uh, now we need to do performance calculations. So we're going to power up the TMS now. So we'll turn that on. Uh, we'll do a test, so it tests the TMS function. This is like a very, well it's not even an auto throttle, it just fine tunes your thrust or whatever you want, you still have to set thrust manually. So that's completing the test. Uh, take off TMS we're going to use. I'll go, I'm just going to set the TMS value to based off 3 degrees, so you, 
I don't know, is it? Uh, yeah, if you change your temperature, look how it changes your thrust. I think this is full thrust for our temperature, which is 92.1, which is fine. We'll set that. Uh, M1 bug set the TMS value. So there's a quick way of doing this um, by clicking the flip chart. That's it. So this is great. This interactively updates your, your, your weight and all your speeds. So we're going to use flap 18. So watch what happens when I press flap 18. Look, oh, sets all your bugs for you, all your TGTs, uh, so you don't have to fill them up, fiddle with them all individually, which is great. Set your bug speeds as well on your your um, airspeed indicator, which is really cool. And we can now power off the TMS. Now we've got it set up. We'll turn it back on after engine start. It's just to get the bug set up here. Um, perfect. Uh, Jamming. I think it's Bruno, but I'm not local. I f yeah, I've. I've I might have actually flown in there in real life a long, long time ago, but uh, can't remember. Right, uh, TMS is off. So we just got some more pre-flight stuff to do. It's just the navigation instruments and radios. So flight directors we can turn on. Let's just check the SID, because we were not given a SID stop altitude, but if we check the Sally 1 Alpha, it's the one Charlie there, so we've changed the SID now. So we'll unpin that. I don't think I can because it's based off the flight plan, but not a problem. So Salo 1 Alpha. So its initial climb is to flight level 70, so we'll set that on the MCP. Perfect, 70 set. Do I arm that now? I'll arm it now, why not? Yeah, you have to arm it all manually, which is a bit of a pain. So we've got that set, flight director bars on, nav radios as well, heading is set to runway heading and courses. I did that before the stream, 2 1. Oh no, it's now 0 4 right, isn't it? So the reciprocal of that's going to be uh, 0 3 7. Again, you'll see the HSI doesn't move. Does anyone know why the HSI is not moving? Let's see if anyone knows here in chat. Set 0 3 7, the reciprocal. Zero three seven here as well. I love flying aircraft like this. It's just something very rewarding, and you know, it's uh, old school. Excellent, Nietzsche. You've got it, Astro Jew. You've got it, Bearded Canic. Excellent. In our nav mode, it just points towards the uh, track in the FMS. Perfect. Right. Altitude set, RMI set, HSI source set, next free pre flight checklist is all done. Uh, next is engine starts. Okay, so what we need to do is get GSX ready. Uh, I think I can now just disconnect the ground power. So, firstly, I'll trip the external power here to off. There you go. So, the ACT AC power has been taken up by the APU. We can now disconnect the ground power. Yeah, at the chocks. AC pump needs to be on for push. There we are. Uh, beacon light, I won't turn on just yet because I need to get the clearance first. APU is already on. We turn the packs off for the engine start. Turn on all fuel pumps. Perfect. Start power to normal and then we'll start the engine. So we're all ready to go. Uh, let me get better pushback on the way here. Oh, sorry, not better pushback. GSX. So, uh, boarding complete. Request. Oh no, what's the punishment for pushing early? Is it 10 minutes early? I'm due out at 45. I've actually done quite well with the setup. No, it's 3 degrees. I don't need icing. Due to icing conditions, please stand by for engine start Give until me. push completed and brake set. No, nonsense would do such things. Uh, right, well, whilst that's all being organised, I'll show you where we're going to taxi. Um, so stand Foxtrot 1, push back hopefully to face Hello, west. Captain. We are ready for pushback. <laughs> Hello. Um, I, I can't see by the chart window. Uh, yeah, push back to face west, hopefully on Whiskey. Left on to Sierra Romeo. And then Bravo. Look at this. It's just a really long straight line to 04 right. And then pew, we'll blast off. So now I'm Sid. Remember, the Sally 1 Alpha now, 04 right. So just make sure we've got the points. Uh, flight plan. Archer check completed. Bypass pin inserted. Uh, oh, it's the wrong page. Copenhagen, Charlie Hotel, 840, 843, right turn, yeah, all, it looks good, looks all good, 844, at least the initial part's good. Right, then the uh, stop level is flight level 120. I forgot to mention, as well, you can play, I don't know why it's done this, oh, I know, because I've got a clean build, I wonder if I, I've, yeah, all the settings have reset, haven't they? Ah, Locking gear. right, let me just go quickly through the settings here, yeah, GSX handling, Oh no, auto cabin crew's on. I don't know why it's not playing the music. 
there should be some music playing in the background. But you, look, you've got a little Becca audio player here, so you can play some some nice boarding music, which is a nice little touch here. Ah, not ready yet. There we are. I'm going to press play. <laughs> so you got Boss, uh, Boss uh, Tiger. Eternity. You can even add your own music if you like. Paradise Films. There you are. And it starts and stops uh, with with the cabin crew. There you go. So I don't know why the cabin crew didn't do that. Right, should we request push and start? Don't forget to turn off the TMS before... Oh, Nietzsche, you have to turn off TMS before... Turn it on before engine start. Oh, really? On the checklist I'm following, it says TMS on after engine start. Oh, don't forget to... No, I have done Nietzsche. It's, it's off, it's off. I've done it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did that, I did that. Right, let's request push. And Copenhagen Tower, Alpaca 1-4, Juliet, Foxtrot, Stand, Foxtrot 1, request push and start. Alpaca 1-4, Juliet, Foxtrot. Uh, first of all, I have a vehicle for you. Let me know when you're ready to copy. Uh, ready to copy, Alpaca 1-4, Juliet, Foxtrot. Is that an amendment? Alpaca 1-4, Juliet, Foxtrot, you are vehicled to your destination. Salu, one Tia departure, uh, runway 22 right, Skok is the same. Uh, it's now Salo, one Charlie for runway 22 right, uh, and in that case I'd cancel push request and we'll call back in a few more minutes. I'll back on 14 at Foxtrot. I'll back on 14 at Foxtrot, but uh, I'll be back is correct. Perfect. So change on runway. That happens in real life. It's a pain. It's best to do it whilst you're on stand. If you already push back and uh, the engines are running, it's, it's a real pain. Now, <laughs> Let's see how this works in here. God damn it. Right. So, uh, flight plan, no menu, departure. Hopefully just changing it will will uh, not cause any issues. So, Salo 1 Charlie. So, hopefully... Let's go here to flight plan. We'll just step through all this. It's just erase the previous one. Right, so let's check the flight plans. We'll unpin the old one. So, route there looks good. Copenhagen to Rubat. 818-819-820. Salo. And that's it. Then the routing. I'll go Kogim. Oh, we'll just make sure that is the correct route. Routing after Salo. So this is the thing. There isn't... Um, yeah, the track looks good. Look, Salo, Argad, Kogim. Always be careful. Yeah, perfect. So after Salo, it's the same routing. So just take your time with, with changes like that. Make sure everything is, is as it needs to be. Uh, and then just need to change the courses. Uh, so that's 217. And the heading to 217. Performance will leave it as the same. I don't know if there's... Um, I think there's tables provided by Just Flight. The, the Just Flight's products are very comprehensive with their manuals. They're really good. And I think you do actually have some sort of performance tables to work out your takeoff run and, and things like that by, based off headwind and tailwind component. Right. So frequencies, courses, minimums, performance. Uh, you don't know your FMS. Just trying to fit what I do online. Um, that's all done. I think we're, we're good to go. Oh, yeah. Check initial clock. Brilliant there at Bomb Tech. Excellent. You fully rebrief the SID. Um, Still seven zero, but uh, very good to highlight. It could easily have changed. Perfect. So that's all good. Hopefully GSX is still going to let me. Oh, I've confused it now because I've been so long. Uh -oh. Due to icing conditions, please stand by for engine start until push completed. Get the anti collision lights on now because I'll forget and I'll get penalised. Perfect. Golf, uh, ready for the reclearance. Bob Tech, very good. Dave Cat, will you fly in across the pond? Yeah, I have penciled it in and I am off Dave Cat, so the problem is I'm out of base the week before. So I'll have to sort of plan it before I go. Perfect. He's very quiet. You can hear the passengers natting away. So yeah, we've we been on our way by now. 
Astra, yeah, they are, the two UNS back. units are decoupled, so I'm probably... Oh, no, they're not. They are coupled, actually. I remember my test sector. Yeah, they're coupled. Not by 5 six, I have a V clearance for you. Let me know when you are ready to copy. Yes, I'm ready to copy. Not by 5 six, you are V clear to Berlin. Then one charge. They're pushed back, Jeeva, very patient. Benzie's tug attached. Do not push. Walk at the same. It's going to be a lovely sunset uh, flight over to Prague. Uh, Flying one south, one right over Berlin, I think then Dresden, and then uh, to Prague. Flight up to about an hour. Uh, two tons, yes, sorry, I, I did see a message. Uh, probably South America, not being there for a while. Let's talk about Prague charts up here. Taxing. Runway 1-2 via Lima and Kilo 3, North 5 5 6 one This is the wrong one, 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 two. Alpaca 1-4, Juliet, Foxtrot, stand, Foxtrot 1, request push and start. Alpaca 1-4, Juliet, Foxtrot, push and start is approved. Kunich 1 0 9 face west. Kunich 1 9 and push start approved to face west, Alpaca 1-4, Juliet, Foxtrot. Perfect, so, poor GSX is getting patient with me, impatient with me. Uh, continue push back. Okay. No. So, standard push, west, whiskey two facing west. Perfect. Oh, that's fine, my air Oh, what's happened to my air brake? No, yeah. Ah, my air brake controls aren't working anymore. My joystick, what's happened? Oh, I better just check. Yeah, my thrust is working. My, my speed brake controls have changed. Oh, Worked on the test sector. Right, bike brake released. Right. Let's start the hair dryers then. Four, three, two, one. I think it's the engine start sequence. So start master on. Starting engine number four. Start. Now you can see it drawing power. And then two of. Uh, where's my notes? N 10% N2. Oh, that's it. Doesn't take long. <laughs> it doesn't make any noise! <laughs> Thanks, two tons. One hair dryer, two hair dryer, three hair dryer, four hair dryer. <laughs> yeah, because I've got all my config now set up for the 146, I might do another stream in a couple of days in the aircraft. Oh, it sounded like a higher thrust setting. At what point can I then go for engine number three? Is it when the oil pressure light extinguishes? Five APUs. Pete, brilliant. Good one. Ah, uh, starting engine number three. Parking brake. Good push. Is that the pushback complete? I hope it works. I hope GSX doesn't have a funny moment being in that position. Just told to set parking brake. Uh, oh, inches a bit high. Is GSX frozen? I never see it sort of leave me like that. It did say set parking brake. Oh, I know why. It's yes. I don't like that feature of GSX. It's not very realistic. There, there he goes. Air dry number two. These are the fuel cages down here. Two and a half tons aside. Low oil pressure is extinguished. Start number two. Dice it our way from Copenhagen. Brilliant. The overhead panel seems inspired by an orchid. <laughs> <Yeah, I know. laughs> it's a lot going on, isn't there? It's really nicely detailed though, and it and it looks really crisp. I'm really late getting this fuel up.
Hi right, Jim, Captain Not Tell's question, parts usually insert payload performance to FMS before all cargo and passengers, though you don't have to cargo and passengers. So at my approach, Jim, we only insert the zero fuel weight, which is the total weight of the aircraft plus all the uh, passengers and uh, payload cargo. With the 6-3 x engine number one. Oh, Martin, wait, I just remembered. Were you teasing a VR stream? No, I wasn't. I, I'll try. I might try it. Guys, I bought a Meta Quest 3. Uh, my my fiance has been wanting one for a while, so she we went half and half on one. And it's amazing. I haven't tried VR for years, but this thing is absolutely incredible. With the mix of realities, like in your room with artifacts, like around, I was absolutely blown away. I couldn't believe how good it was. I had a bit of a headache after about 45 minutes, so. But maybe it's because the strap was too tight, but uh, yeah, I'm going to have another go later. It's awesome. I barely can't, you can't turn it off in the setting, that's good to know. Right. Not blocking anyone at least. I think uh, this Danish man has just shown me the pin and he's buggered off. <laughs> Perfect. There we are, looks like four good starts. Cool. So start selector to off, start master off, engine anti ice as required. We don't need it. Uh, generator 1 and 4 on. Uh, APU air. Now, you leave the APU on with the APU providing pressure for takeoff. Uh, packs 1 and 2 on. Brake fans to auto. I think that's back up here somewhere, isn't it? There we are. Brake fans to auto. Uh, engine 2 and 3 hydraulic pumps on. Just make sure the pressure increases. Low pressure light is extinguished. There we are. Low pressure is extinguished. Uh, AC pump on. Which it already is. PTU on. Heaters on. So screen heat. Heaters as well. Uh, TMS on. And lastly, transponder. That should be on out off. Oh, it says TA here. Well, I'm, I'm just going to put it up to TA, alright. I know we're not on the wrong way, but. There we are. Uh, that's the engine start chat is complete. Oh, oh, flaps. Yeah, don't forget to extend the flaps. Flaps 18 for take off. Can't need those. They've definitely smoothed things out. So things move a lot smoother, all the needles and the movements of things. Cool. Uh, just in preparation for taxi. I'll turn these on. And the turn off as well. Cool. Right. Is he here, isn't it? There's no events going on. It's just I saw there was ATC on the VATSIM. You can type in VATSIM ATC and someone booked on, so I thought we'd go from Copenhagen. Plus, I like having a lot of good at ATC. Really. And Tower Alpaca 1 for Juliet Fox Truck Request Taxi. Alpaca 1 for Juliet Fox Truck Taxi via Whiskey Hold Shot of Romeo. Uh, whiskey Hold Shot of Romeo, Alpaca 1 for Juliet Fox Truck. Good, so we're already on Whiskey. Uh, let me just get rid of that here. Uh, so it's the second left, just going to hold short for taxi. Perfect. Anyway. So Parker released. Quite, well, I say quite light, just does go idle on. Let's do a quick config check. There we are, no config warning, trims in the green. Holding short of the second left. There's Scandinavian pushing back. Yeah, great to land on this. Oh, that's what I'm giving away. Look, Scandinavian Airbus. How do I turn up the lighting of the MCP? I can't remember. You can hide this as well if you want. I think that's the click spot there. Yeah. Alpaca 62 Echo, Kastar, Hell, 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 Oh, TMS, like, take off. Sorry, yes, it was a. Uh... Thank you. 
Apaka 6 to Echo, be back is correct. Apaka 1, Fortunate Fox, we're holding short of Romeo. First, General Navy and Four Zero Niner. Overhead, uh, bottom left, Bravo thank you. Bravo Niner, via Bravo, Yankee and Papa, cross from Got it. 1 2. Thank you. Bravo Niner, via Bravo Yankee and Papa, cross from 1 2. Scan M8 Kilo Golf, one way two to right, clear for takeoff, when is calm, and when airborne, contact approach, 119, this more 8, you're both fine. Clear for takeoff, two to right, uh, when uh, after departure contact uh, approach, 119, you're both fine, scan M8 Kilo Golf, bye bye. Back of one for Judith Fox, continue by Romeo and Bravo, boarding point Echo 1 and cross runway 1 2. Uh, continue Romeo, uh, Bravo, uh, to hold point Echo 1, clear cross runway 1 2, our back of 1 4 Judith Fox drop. Perfect, so as we briefed, parking brake. So we're going to take this next left. Romeo Victor, Bravo, clear cross 1 2, all the way down. And Alpha, 1, cross, runway 1-2. So interesting weather down the road. Oh, is there? I didn't check the en-route weather chart, so I took standard fuel. <laughs> Perfect. The only thing is I'm not a fan of is... I, the good news is you can hide the tablet. I, I find it quite distracting having it there. I mean, it's not too bad. I first world problems. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Actually, you know what? It's not too bad. You can sort of just glance at the charts like that, I suppose. Perfect. So we'll get ourselves on the parallel taxiway. Wish I've got my Toby Eye Tracker all working. Why am I not using them? There we are. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Ah, make sure still on the taxi line. Uh, two zero zero taxi uh, line to back and Delta hold short of runway one two. Good look around, all clear. Perfect. The aircraft's just taking off on two two right. Look, very cool. The um, other traffic on Microsoft Flight Simulator, the model mansion, is really good. So we're clear to cross one two already. Just like uh, hope you're doing well as well. I've already said, can I give one quick blatant marketing uh, ping? Yes, thanks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Just like, you're welcome, uh, no problem at all. Spring sale continues, continues uh, runs until midnight, Sunday the 7th, for lots of adults, lots of including the very wonderful six professional. Very good. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh, uh, dear. Uh, what a beast. Well, I say a beast, it's a little beast. Sim's running nice and smoothly for me as well. Ever since I did a clean install of it two or three months ago. Right, let's do that before take off checklist. So, for takeoff. Uh, flaps taxi done, trims all set, config check we've done. We don't need continuous ignition. Cabin call press. Next is the flight control check, which I'll probably should have done while stationary. I'll try it now. Hope you're doing well. I'm adorning uh, jeans and a uh, white t shirt today. Very boring. Thanks, Julia. Excellent. Rudder pedals. There we go. So I've got a link to my tiller, so I'm going to start taxi. That's all done. TMS verify on and takeoff mode engage already done. Master warnings done. Uh, up go around mode. So you do that by pushing the autopilot disconnect. There you are. Go around mode is armed for takeoff. And we're ready for takeoff uh, before takeoff. Check this next. So I'm just going to do my own operator's checklist now just to make sure I'm configured and happy. So config. Hold position. I'll back up on 4 Uh oh. Makes me think I've made a mistake. We were cleared all Ah! <laughs> My apologies. Um, I'm happy to depart via Echo 2 if that's possible. Alpaca 148 Foxtrot. 
Bravo Echo 2, sorry about that, Tapaga 148 Foxtrot. Uh, no, no, I was too busy. Oh, no. <laughs> There's other professional streamers available. Oh. Right, uh, oh, where's the pa where's the parking brake? Why is my speed brake out? Uh, I'm not looking at chat right now. I don't want to. I don't know what's happened to my spoilers. <laughs> we'll take Echo 2 intersection, it's fine. Yeah, okay, I had it in my head 0 4 right still. And that is a big threat. Big threat to runway changes. I still was taxing to zero four right in my head. And that's why there's two of us. And that's why you, you don't chat to strangers while taxing in real life. And Jim didn't say a single thing either. <coughs> Look at all the members utilising their <laughs> their emojis. Pete's gone for the Pete's Thomas and Edo have gone for the lost map emoji, and Andy Liam has gone for the I real pilot. <laughs> Brilliant face. So yeah, as I said, uh, I'm going to take the first next right, Echo 2, and uh, depart 2 right. God damn it. Yeah, thanks, Martin, yeah. Nice one, Jim. Right, I think we're all good. I think we're all good. I've got the next frequency on the step right. Uh, yes, I don't know what's happened to my speed brake command. Uh, it was working on my test sector on the previous build. Six, three, no, it no longer works. Can I do it manually? Yeah, I can do it manually. So next right echo 2, we're going to hold short and depart from there. Possible pilot deviation. And now we know why it should be a sterile cockpit. Exactly. So first right here is Echo 2, and we'll hold short there. Bring the speed down, down to 10 knots for the taxi. At least it's a nice long runway here. Did you <laughs> did you put the dog out before you took off? He's downstairs with my field, so he's fine. Jack might come and say hello later. <clears throat> Again, someone's just been cleared for takeoff. Yes, there's... Uh, is that a United 737? He's a long way from home. Huh. Right, let's try and not have a runway incursion. <laughs> now you really do need all five engines. Uh, he's a long way from home. Right, just make sure I turn left for 2-2 right, okay? <laughs> uh, the thing is, that controller's in the street. He popped in. Look, what's happening to the auto the speed brake keeps popping out on its own. What's going on here? I might just quickly jump into the menu quickly. Well, I thought two nine, then for Bravo eight, my Bravo Yankee and my first one way one two. I need to fix this because it keeps extending on its own. That's not good. Uh, spoilers. Your translation is that is not select. Oh, T C quadrant. What? That is the qu that, that is correct. Yoke Boeing. Why is it? I don't understand why that's not working. And when airborne contact approach one one nine at this my eight zero five. Ah, now why is this all not working? Press a key. Oh, no, no. I don't like this here. So yeah, something's happened to the axis. Left axis X plus. Doesn't matter. I just it keeps extending on its own though, look, completely on its own. So something's triggering this to, to extend on its own. Yeah, I guess I think that might be a good idea, actually. Yeah. Control services. 
Yeah, I don't even know which axis that is. Uh, I mean, I'll try. Uh, yeah, it's not even picking it up. Oh, it's not letting me. Oh, it's so. I hate Microsoft Flight Sims. Right, clear. Cool. Yeah, that's going to at least prevent it from extending. Cool. Thanks for that. Good, uh, good suggestion, Anchor. I'll look at it afterwards. Six seven five. Person started to please face south on Papa. Connect one zero zero nine. Turn that annoying music off now. Did you change the batteries in the speed brake before you left the gate? <laughs> uh, well, I'll tell you what. Uh, via Echo 2 now, line of 08 2 2 right, tail pack 148 Foxtrot. <laughs> right, parking brakes off. Ocean 5 for Jennifer Mill, ready for the first. Ocean 5 for Jennifer Mill, 148 2 2 right, line of 08. So MCP is right, straight right, up here. So MCP is set, and we want. Oh no, I think I've got to wait until I engage your pilot. Then MCP set transponder, TRA strobe lights are on, waiting for our takeoff clearance. Now turn left, left face this bit. Right, yeah. I haven't got enough runway left, and also a plane will be pointed directly towards me. And red nose three six seven zero clearance. Busy here, isn't it? That's been there, you are clear to your So, now it's not able to right? Yeah, down there, Martin's on. We've got the intersection departure on in front of them. Uh, cool. Just waiting for clearance now. I'll start the timer now because it's a bit awkward. There you go, time is on. Sorry, go. Just holding on the foot brakes. Just turn the sim down because it gets very loud with take off thrust. First Alpaca one four to the Oxford, one way two to right, clear for take off, when it's calm and when airborne, contact the pulse one one nine at this point eight zero five. 22 right, clear to take off, one airborne, 119805, I'll pack a 148 foxtrot. See you soon, bye. Perfect. Bye. <laughs> right, Toga's in chat. Let's go to Prague. Okay, about 50%. A little bit more, there we are. Stabilised. TMS sets take off. So TMS will take over. There we are. There, our TMS is now biting speed along. Check. The right rudder coming in. Check. Release forward pressure. Up we go. V2. Oh, not quite trim. A lot of back pressure there, airborne. Positive rate of climb. There we are. Just going to maintain 145 knots or so. Hit trim. There we are. So there's any DP2, I think. So we're just going to lower the nose just to get the aircraft to accelerate. And we'll wait for it to tell us to retract the flaps. Just going to set about 500 feet per minute. Just going to go to the nav. Oh, now this is where my. I think this will automatically convert, won't it? It'll tell me to go to the next waypoint. I'm just going to turn it. Oh god, it's so loud! Oh, that's better. Yeah, lower that nose a bit more. There we are. So there's a command for the next turn. So it automatically sequences the waypoints. So just watching the HSI. So flaps coming up. We'll accelerate to 250 knots now. Over to the next frequency. There's a loss of lift, so the nose really wants to come down. It flies really nicely. Yeah, so I, I don't know how to get the flight director to command what you want when you're sort of hand flying. I'll just reduce the thrust to 90% now. Ooh, don't descend. Oh, don't descend. Just getting it in trim. Uh, Copenhagen, hello. It's our pack of 14 Juliet Foxtrot on the Salco 1 Charlie, passing 3000 for flight level 70. 
Alpha Gear 14, Foxtrot, Copenhagen, approach identified, proceed direct, Salo, climb flight level 190. Direct to Salo, climb flight level 190, Alpha Gear 14, Foxtrot. So I'm just going to lower my workload now, just get the automation in. So it's in trim, around 250 knots. Perfect, that should do it. So the autopilot's down here. So, uh, autopilot in. I want nav. No, don't turn, don't turn, don't turn. There we are at 250. So I'm going to go IS hold and direct to Salo. So DTO, Salo is 6. And where's enter? There we are. Command the left turn. Indicated airspeed hold. So we're going to maintain 250 knots. Cool. We can now do the after takeoff checklist. Stay at 3000 feet. Oh, yeah. And, uh, flight level 190. Just need to set the standard as well, yeah. Poof, work goes high for me in this. So initial climb gears have flaps retracted, all the pilots engaged. Engine air on now. AP air off. Sink on. Just a little more thrust. 90% climb. 18205, uh, Canadian flight. There we are. Master to one. Oh, no, sorry. Master to one is already done. Uh, AC pump off, APU off. Perfect. Uh, what else do we need to do? APU master's done. Now we have to take off check this complete. Cool, just need to set standard. Uh oh, what's that digging at me for? Oh, it's gone. Right, I have to take up check this complete. And we are now routing direct to Salo. Which is great now, we've got this great little FMS. So you can see how the aircraft's performing. Astro, when in pitch and roll mode to autopilot trim actually changes the command in pitch and roll. Yeah, I learned about this. So before, if you had this look, I had the sync button. So if I press this little white button here on my controller, it should engage in sync. They are sync, and now I can pitch if I was in a VS mode. But now I think you're right, you can use VS. So if I go to VS and trim, I can actually set my rate of descent this way, can't I? So if I trim those down, is it, no, is it not VS, or do I need to be in pit, like a pitch hold mode? Ooh, which, which one's pitch if I deselect VS? There we are, pitch. Oh ah, yeah, that's it now. So watch this, so you see if I trim look, in pitch hold, you can trim look at the flight director. How cool is this? And this is how the real aircraft works, isn't it? So pitch hold. So if I want to do a thousand feet per minute, I'm just going to pitch up because I want to maintain. It's really cool, and this is actually how the real aircraft works. So pitch hold, you simply trim. Very cool. So we're going to climb at 280 knots, all right, so when I get to 100 here, so I'm going to use the trim now, look, lower the nose. Let's do about, let's say 700 feet per minute. That's super cool, ooh, it's really sensitive. Parker 1 for Julius Foxford, contact Sweden on 118, this is 425. 118405, Alpaca 1 for Jet Fox Perfect, so I'm in VX, this is awesome, I love this. So in the pitch hold mode, you simply set the rate of climb you want, or let the aircraft accelerate to around 280. If you bug this, what you want, that's 280. As soon as it's that yellow circle, which is your target speed, is on speed, just go to IS hold. I, l I love this sort of flying, like manual. There's no climb. Climb, thrust lever, climb, climb, SOS blue in this bad boy. Right, there we are. Now we'll go to IS hold. And the aircraft now pitches for the speed, not, uh, not the pitch. Uh, post uh, pre cruise checks now, some lights off. Uh, fuel. About, what's that, 24445? Four, 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 Pressurisation. Ah, uh, where's the diff pressure measures? Oh, there we are. Uh, five zero watts. Oh, yeah. I don't know where the diff pressure is. Sorry, Tommy. Set. Belts go. Check three. Four three five zero. Check three. Sweden control. Good evening, Alpaca. One four Juliet Foxtrot. Climbing flight level one nine zero. 
and uh, we are currently inbound Salo. I forgot where we're going. Alpaca, one for unit talk to us, we didn't control like that, right? Climb level 250 through the direct uh, air store, camp store, Hotel Delta, Oscar. Uh, Five flight level 250 and direct to Hotel Delta Oscar, Alpaca Wolf for JF Armstrong. Where's that? I'm looking at my routes and I can't see it. Oh, it's Press miles one away. One look, at that, look at that for a shortcut, look. Hotel Delta Oscar. And that, that is a typical Good clearance when it's really quiet, so amazing. Direct to Hotel control, Delta Hello, this country is at a 6. Just want to call your follow-up, 370. Uh, there we are. 43 minutes, 1751. Guys, what do you think of the aircraft? What do you think of it? Really, really enjoy it. I've always enjoyed the 146, but... Oh, look at the graphics! <laughs> as well. Awesome. With 76 from your pop-up, we didn't control all that and maintain level 370. Very cool. Oh, it's, yeah, I remember the FO signed in. Yeah, yeah, it's a weird. Is it, yeah, look. A weird. Ooh. Hold on. That's okay. Diff pressure's increased. Yeah, that's fine. I don't like. Uh, Neil, to the for zero, so right. Diff pressure's 3.8 psi, and it seems to be holding it. Cabin altitude is slowly. Why is the diff pressure not increasing? But the cabin altitude is increasing. I'm hoping that's as per. <laughs> It is, to be fair, it's a very... Yeah, there we are. Diff's now increasing. That was a bit concerning. Yeah, it's a very shallow rate of climb in the cabin. Cool. So, UNS, you got some domestic information. Your deviation from your, your planned route tailwind, wind information, ground speed track. From your present waypoint to your next one. That big shortcut we got 42 minutes away. It's really cool. one for you, pop shot. Bremen is offline, Monaco Unicom, sure. A Unicom Alpac, uh, 14GA and Fox, right, nice to meet you, bye. Perfect. Guys, how's the sound? Aircraft too loud? Am I too loud? Too quiet? It sounds very loud to me. I've got Microsoft Flights in volume turned down to, just to show you, about 28%. This is what Microsoft Flights in at full volume is for me. That. Imagine if it was that loud, you can barely hear me, so, yeah, that's 33, actually about 33% there. Cool. Yeah, I'll have to investigate my joystick command, but I can still command it by using the slash key, which is fine. Descends like an absolute, like, you know, rock with that speed break. We've got DME here from the Copenhagen VOR. It's looking good. The time is working nicely. Elapsed time is uh, just over 10 minutes here, Paul. There we go, and now you see the uh, performance of the aircraft. We're cruising at 2.7, so there's no ATC, so we're going to set 2.7 now. Um, and even though we've got 10,000 feet more to climb, I'm doing a thousand feet per minute. <laughs> just, that's just, it's just no performance. Sounds good, thanks guys, appreciate the feedback. There he is. And don't forget, just like making an Avro, aren't they? Which is, the, that is the sort of glass cockpit modern version of this aircraft, isn't it? The performance, I think, is very, very accurate to this aircraft. We'll do some fuel and time checks on route as well. Very nice. I'll go outside quickly. It might be a bit loud, though. Ah, it's not too bad. Look at that. Oops, I think I've left the turn off. We'll blow the wing lights on. Look at that, guys. Oh, is, oh my, is what is 250 not... What, what's the climb speed for this? Yeah, I, actually, to be fair, there's quite a lot of parasitic drag at this speed. So, shall I go back to 250? Thrust is probably a little bit high as well. It's set, I've made in my notes for the last one, it's set 90% M1 or max TGT of 820 for climb. So I'll go back to 90. And what I'll do, I'll bring the speed back to 250. It does climb harder at 250, I've found. Usually follow 220 to 10,000 10, feet, 250 to cruise. Okay. So let's. Uh, what we'll do, we'll go to the pitch hold mode. So to do that, deselect IS, it reverts to pitch. And what I'll do. I'll increase the pitch now. Again, just to show on Yoka Cam by just by just trimming. Okay, and move the flight director up until we're doing 2,000 feet per minute. So we're not um, we're just trading some of our kinetic energy for potential energy here. Just climbing a little bit higher. We'll bug 250 knots. 
And as soon as the yellow dot here is back on speed, we'll probably climb a little bit more than that actually. Set the pitch trim to about seven and a half degrees. There we are. As soon as the speed's back at 250, we'll go back to indicated airspeed hold. So pitch hold VS are great pitch modes. But you must remember, guys, they are speed unstable. What that means is the autopilot's not directly controlling the speed. IS hold is much safer because it, it, it pitches for the speed, so it's not going to get slow. Um, so pitch is great for, for flying particular... I don't like how the engines are smoothing down. There you go, have a bit more fuel. There we are, so back on 250, IS hold. And the aircraft's now prioritising pitching for the speed. It's much safer. Right, a little bit of engine anti Ooh! Nice! Smoke's reflecting. Very nice. How cool is that? Right, put a bit of engine anti-ice on. Engine one valve not shut. I think that's just... Yeah, okay. <laughs> mm. uh, James, you cannot wait for the Avro. The uh, hours I spent in the quality wings Avro made my uh, copper jealous. I don't think she's looking forward to release. Brilliant. Uh, I, I f completely forgot to mention as well. Massive thanks to uh, Kenny Waller, who joined as a member earlier on. I think I might have been in the uh, uh, yoke camp. But uh, thanks for your support as a member. I hope you're doing well. Glad you enjoyed the content and enjoy the customers motion chats. Perfect. Craig, you ever flown the Flight Factor 350? I have version 1. I quite like it. I haven't. I've been meaning to, but um, I'm waiting for their 777 now. Is that actually good when it says that? What's the other lights? Not sure. Yeah, I like that. Bit up like a Christmas tree. So, 250 knots on our, our Mach number for cruise is Mach decimal 7, or I think 6.8 is the optimal cruise. So we'll just maintain 250 in the climb until uh, our Mach increases. A little less thrust, we have about 90, 90% end to the climb. And you've got to be vigilant in the cruise, there's no auto throttle per se, it's just this TMS system, so you only really have to manage it. Yeah, white light just means it's on, thanks Astrogy. So far, AGT does seem a little low in this version. Yeah, I remember the AGT being higher, so you sort of hit 90%, you'll be closer to your, your target EGT. The target EGT, I think I made on my notes in the previous build, was 820. So I don't know. I think Microsoft Flight Sim has improved the simulation of N2 and M1, hasn't it? Not sure. Cam's pilot's here as well. Cam's pilot is part of the Just Flight team, and uh, a lot of work put in for himself for all the Just Flight aircraft. This one, and a Vulcan as well. I so see you here. If you have any questions for Just Flight, feel free to ask them in the in the uh, chat box if you so wish. Cool. So yeah, we're hauling up here, 250 knots, a thousand feet per minute, barely fuel on board is interactive, we'll do some fuel and time checks as well, this is all loaded as per GSX it's so light isn't it, based on 25 tonnes ah, Cam's pilot, so typically use TGT 840 for the climb ah, so I've got about 710 but I've got quite a high M1, so if I get um, well, the TGT will be lower than the, that at least. Oh, okay. So will the TGT increase as we climb with a sort of set thrust? Leave it at 90, see how it performs. All these gauges are so small and fiddly. Look, you've got oil, oil, oil quantity seems quite low. Under three, quarter, three quarters. Is that because the engine's running? Maybe it's not nothing in the tank? Possibly. All with the greens. It's already burnt nearly two tons of fuel. No, it nearly burnt a ton of fuel. Yeah, it's, it is quite. It does sip it. You know, they are very small engines, obviously. They can't carry a huge amount of passengers, unlike the NG and the 320, but. It's not a huge guzzler. Spitfire says a climb profile I used was 88% M1 at sea level. Oh, yeah, I remember reading the notes 1% M1 per 5,000 feet, so each team permitting you could be able to climb at 92% M1. Okay, I'll set it a little higher. There's a TGT increasing. So yeah, 92% M1, that's giving me about 760 degrees. Okay. Ah, uh, what's the... 
over there, temperature. Ah, it needs to be below minus 40, really. So I can stop using Enchanty Ice. I'll turn these turn off lights on. The wing lights. Ah, there we go. Oh, when I did my test sector yesterday, it was lovely. It was a lovely sunset here. We're in a sort of um, cloud. Uh, Janet Wing Anti Ice. Well, that's me. You can't really turn Wing Anti Ice on in the sim because it's a visual. Wing Anti Ice, you, you look at any airframe I think. You actually see the wing from the cockpit of one from six. Sort of. I don't think any. Uh, can you remember when Microsoft Front Sim came out? All the aircraft had massive rising issues. Right, the soup says James, absolutely. Uh, Martin, no order break? No, I don't think so. No reverses, no water break, just powerful brakes and a big, big speed break in, the, uh, in its rear. Hey oh, Panko, I see your comment earlier, not about pulling the knob, yes, no airbuses here. Oh, hello James, friend of mine, hope you're doing well, good evening to you. No, after, but I think that auto break. Uh, oh, I thought you meant uh, after the No, no, not this. There we are. Just doing under 800 feet per minute, with about a thousand feet to go. And when we level off, we'll leave the thrust as it is, and we'll accelerate to 6.8. Now, when you select IS hold, it's not linked to the bug. It's just whatever speed at which you engaged it, so we'll level off, we'll leave the thrust where it is, let the aircraft accelerate to decimal 68 and then reduce thrust, and then we'll set up VNAV for descent. Oh, cams pilot, yes, isn't there a coffee machine back here? Yes. Oof, just bang my nose on that. Yes, how do you make coffee? I remember you d yes! Look at this! <laughs> the first add-on, where you can actually make yourself a coffee. So... How do, you, how do you use it? I'm not actually checked. Uh, see, the passengers are staring. Uh, and and the music's not being paid. Like, what's it? Oh yeah, you can control all the lighting, can't you, as well? Look at this. Someone's in the toilet and turn them off. It's very good. No smoking light is on. I haven't, have you got all the lights on back here? You got seatbelt signs and things, haven't you? Try it. Just put the seatbelt sign on. Perfect. There you go. Look, you see all the, the symbols and signs at the front. Oh, is that my is that my hot chocolate ready? Very cool. Oh, can you hear that? Like the engines obviously are very loud, but it sounds like my coffee is my coffee is pouring. <sighs> can you open the bins? I don't think so. I can open the door. I'm not doing that. Just in case it opens. It shouldn't. Very cool. What else we got here? Call the pilot, look, that's really cool. Okay, we're in X plane, you can click all the click spots, which is quite cool. Right, anyway, uh, I better do some work. Oh, cabin, oh look, how cool is that? You press the cabin call button, and it has cabin call. Oh, it's the ground call horn. How do I, how do I turn this off or reset? Oh, there we are. Perfect. Right, I've only shown you a mere few of the little extra features, but I do better do some work. Anyway, let, let's accelerate to decimal 68. What's a good thrust setting to maintain 68? We need a V3 update with a, a fully, a fully plumbed toilet," said Harry. "Brilliant. I don't have my soundboard up uh, here right now, but that would have been perfect timing for the toilet flush sound. Let's see if I can get it up in time so it sounds like it, you know. Uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, 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 Johnny, what's the ETA in Prague? Let's have a look here. Uh, how do you get that? I think you can get the information up somewhere, somehow. Um, 
there we are, 36, 252 miles. So I, I think that's as the crow flies down. Obviously we've got to slow down, so that's elapsed. Oh, hold on, because I think I'm, I'm going to be... Yeah, ooh, ooh, I'm going fast, so I need to reduce a bit of the thrust here. Uh, oh, thanks for that, Astro. I have used the TMS and target at 600. Oh, engine anti ice. Uh, yeah, it's about minus 40. It's probably too cold. That sound. Oh, no, that's air. Don't do that. Oh. That feels like a l thrust is too low. Well, actually, you know what? It seems okay. I need to make of that. Oh, I knew, oh, I need to set... How do I sync all of them? Ah, ah, so much going on. Ah. Is there a way of syncing all these quickly? I think there is. I remember there being a way of syncing this. ATC. No, but uh, all the bugs to 600. I know about the TMS one. Uh, let me just check in with ATC here. But I mentioned it happens in the 1677 Oh, sorry, I'm not the gauge. And even 1677 beam radar identified, proceed direct Cape Top. Proceed direct Cape Top, proceed even 1677. Uh, Hello, radar. You're a So, is that correct? Your strategy yeah, Yankee I think I radar identified. Proceed direct Barnup. Is that good? Ah, is that now sinking the. Barnup, you run that and create. Keep an eye on that. Oh, look at that, just on top of the clouds. Nine Delta Lima, Prime Radar identified, Ethan, Slider 140, direct Octa. TMS M1 and then target. Okay, I think that's good. Oh, look at this though, just sat on top of the cloud. Perfect, reach that. Zulu Rate Frank with the Prime Rate identified. Direct. So uh, flying south, uh, that'll be Berlin. And then next will be Dresden, carrying south Dresden directly from Berlin. Ocean and then to the Prime Rate Frank. Rate identified. Pretty direct Hotel Delta Oscar. Hotel Delta Oscar Ocean and Cycle. Give me one six seven seven defense one four zero. Defense five seven one four zero for the one six seven 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 there. He's busy this guy. Uh Bremen, hello, it's South Packer one four Juliet Foxtrot flight level two seven zero to Hotel Delta Oscar. South Packer one four Juliet Fox at Bream Raid identified. Perfect, so we're checked in. Thanks for subscribing there. S Saucy as the bat. Uh, 7030. Welcome aboard. There we go. So remember, we got a massive shortcut from the Swedish controller. What we'll do is when we're at a beam racket, we'll just do a fuel check and time check. See how we're progressing. The speed's a bit higher here with this um, thrust setting, to be fair. I don't have 600 degrees set. Uh, oh, now, I think TMS is actually, now I've actually set it to a sensible. Yeah, it's holding 600. Let's just monitor the speed there. It, we're approaching VMO, uh, MMO here. Doing decimal 78. Oh no, is that 75? Very good. Uh, right, that's a big bracket. So you got the fuel gauges down here. If you want to know the exact amount, you can sort of half cheat and go here to aircraft. You can see the exact amount. Uh, I don't get rid of this. There we are. So that's uh, uh, 3650. Let's have a look at the. Uh, we'll call it 36. In even 1677, Fine racket. 
three six. We've got three two. Oh, saved a bit of fuel there. That was a massive shortcut. The Sid. So that's completely realistic. Remember on that Sid, we completely chopped it off. Uh, we basically went all there to Sallow, straight line. So well, probably should probably should have, a l but not quite as much as that. Uh, but yeah, we're just a beam racket. Lost the point now. Make sure we read it right. Uh, three. We got three six, and we should have burned sixteen seventeen. Use uh, was that 700, 1400? What did I say? But about f we've got about 14, 1500. We've got 1600. So we've saved about 100 kilos. The fuel burn's not too far off, actually. Perfect. Is that icing on the wheel shield? Said Martin. No, I think it's just sort of like mucky fingerprints from the previous crew, which is quite cool. Uh, Gregory, what uh, arrival are we planning for? A Gollop for Sierra. Gollop for Sierra. Hello Sally, hello, how are you? I haven't watched you in a little while. Since I have school, lots of work. You're doing a great job, keep the good work, good to see you again. And I'll see you next time. Thank you very much, sir, Ali. Keep, uh, keep uh, all the hard work up and uh, okay, nice you to pop in again, thank you. Uh, uh, Cyclone, yeah, VT releases tomorrow, yes. Uh, just like confirm that today. Uh, so tomorrow morning, you uh, can grab the V2 version updated, or if you so wish to get the 146, you can go go it now. I think it's on sale, uh, and then you can get the, the V2 version update. Oh, Jamie, use the up down button on the top left of the TMS. Gear override. Alpaca two, uh, correction. Alpaca one four Julia Fox dot new squawk two zero one zero. Two zero one zero Alpaca one four Julia Fox dot. Bit of a wind shift in the sim. Scandinavian one six seven seven contact the radar one one nine hundred and sixty zero. One one nine hundred and sixty zero. Oof. Yeah, that's not sim. Weather's just changing oh. the sim look. There we go. Hi Kevin, hope you're doing well. Late to stream, Captain. How'd the uh, trying flights go? Yeah, really well. Um, as I mentioned briefly at the start of the stream here, the reason I was streaming for the last week, I've been out of base. Just started my training to become a training captain. So, so I went to one of our, our training, our main training bases. Um, and how it worked was I observed a day's training on the jump seat, so watched four sectors. Uh, I then, with that same training captain, he went to the jump seat and watched me do four sectors, just to make sure I'm not a completed idiot. Us are idiots, <laughs> which I am tend to be, to occasionally uh, am. But no, it went very well. And then I'm now released to go do 12 sectors on my own. Uh, so I've done four already. I've got to do another uh, eight, and I'm going out of base. I'm on some leave now. I'm on some leave for a couple, couple of weeks, so I'm quite busy. Just uh, you know, going out for a few days with my fiance so, and things like that. But I, I will do a few more streams in the next couple of weeks. And then I go out of base. I have another eight sectors, as I said, training, and. Um, and then I have my final check, and uh, hopefully if I pass, uh, quality to be qualifying to be a training captain. So yeah, my first day I had a, a commando grade student, so I was actually sat in the right hand seat for the first time in six years, or no, five years ago I did my commando grade, and it was really disorientating to start with. You sort of sat there, you've been sat in the other seat for a while, and it's just sort of like, oh, and I'm having to play the role of first officer. So my operator, the FO, does all the com radio comms on the ground with a f with ATC, gets the clearance. But we have A cars on all our fleet now, so that's quite good for getting the clearance as well. And it just takes a bit of getting used to. Uh, he was a ve very high standard, really high, so it made my day really easier. Uh, the second day I had what we call a, a TTR, transition type rating. So this is someone that's come into the airline who doesn't have any experience on the 737. His previous type was actually turboprops, and he's coming in as a first officer, but he was a captain. And uh, turboprop pilots, typically when they jump into the 737, really struggle with energy management, so I had to be, had to be quite vigilant on the approach. So I'm one, when it comes to training, of letting people learn uh, by sort of not making mistakes. We all make mistakes on the aircraft. When I say make mistakes, nothing dangerous, of course, but uh, we're flying into an undisclosed destination in Spain, and he got himself a little bit high. I got to the point where I thought, right, I do need to now interject because I don't want to go around, and we did. So, so yeah, he was sort of getting to uh, 10 miles, about a five, 600 feet high, uh, and doing about 230, 240 knots, struggling to get the aircraft to go down. So, you know, 
do I hand? And I went, yeah, and what do I do? And I just went straight to speed brake, straight to flat there five. <laughs> uh, yeah. Then 180 knots yeah. flat 10, and we and we were doing a non-precision right. approach. We got back on VNAV about five yeah, miles before the descent point. So, so uh, yeah, it's it's all about learning, and and cadets do the same mistakes as well. So, anyway, I interject. I must make a note of this. TGT of 600. Look at this, and it's holding the speed really nicely, about decimal seven zero there. So I'll make a note of that. Cruise set TGT six hundred. Cruise set TGT two six hundred. Yeah, because now, as I said, I've got all my config set up now for the one four six. I might do another stream in the aircraft again in the coming days. Um, might try to take it to some gnarly destinations. Oh yes, there is a weather radar here. I don't think it shows anything. I'll try. Weather radar warming up. I've got it tilted down to minus two. Let's see what happens. It's looking a bit inclement actually. Let's see what Navigraph says. Just overhead Berlin. Off to the uh, right -hand side. Not that you can see any of it. Look at that. It looks absolutely stunning, doesn't it? Awesome. Uh, oh, weather radar. Oh, what? What? What's that painting? It's painting something. What? What's that? Ooh. What's this? It's painting. Where's it getting this data from? Interesting. I mean, we're hopefully. A just put the tilt up. If I just point it up to plus five, let's see if it. No, it doesn't seem to. If I put plus fifteen, yeah, tilt tilt is definitely not modelled or showing anything. Let's see what's up there. Um, how do I overlay the weather? There we are. Oh no, it's day mode. Get weather up on this. There we go. It's rain, isn't it? Raining in Prague this evening as well. Yeah, it's not low visibility, but uh, okay. Some stuff around. Interesting. Well, it's, it's painting something, but the tilt doesn't seem to be modelled. Interesting. Um, let's have a look at chance. Um, gnarly destinations, you say. Landing at Bilalude Where? Where's that Spitfire? Air Wisconsin, you should create an alpaca express delivery for the 146. Make a little regional brand of alpaca airways. Yes. I mean, we've only got alpaca airways mainline on the 146 here. Oh, look at the sun on top of the window. Super. Um, I think you may never sit in the left hand seat again. I know. Well, my home base, uh, we do all sorts of training there, but. My I, my base is one of our training centres, so I won't be flying huge amounts anyway because of my job role, but that, that suits me. I quite enjoy working in the sim. So my th I'll do three blocks in the sim as usual. My one block will be a lot of flying now because we, we, uh, we, we're a little bit uh, a lot of line training going on. So uh, that's fine. I, I do respect the guys to do this full time though because okay. I tell you what, I was, I was tired after two days of line training. Yeah, it's it's uh, a lot more intensive than the an all day out, but it's it also keeps you motivated as well because it can be a bit boring going on a long day. Have you hit your right hand on the window trying to find the thrust levers yet? No, not yet, Listerman. I what was it? I tried to control the lights. Yeah, so the lights down uh, here. Uh, obviously, they're down here for the captain. I was on the right seat. I went. I was looking for them on the pedestal. <laughs> I was like, oh no, they're on my right now, not left. Three scratch, can you see any A320 stream soon? Oh, three scratch, I've done loads of streams at the 320s. Right, anyway, we best do some descent planning. So, there's a little tutorial included with the um, aircraft, so if you want to build familiarity with the UNS, they have a UNS tutorial flight you can take part in. So, how the VNAV works is very basic. You just put in your target rate of descent. Uh, and then it'll work off that. So we'll, we'll put 2000, which is the one used off the tutorial, and we can use the pitch hold function to descend 
using that function. So once I put that in, enter, it'll generate a top of descent. Oh, look, it's actually quite close, only 48 miles, so we better start setting it up. Now, because this aircraft has no issues with descent management, this um, star, this VNAV descent is based off us doing this full arrival from Golop to Papa Romeo 516, then southwest to 517, 518, and then back east again to Irasu. That's the actual routing we've got in the FMC. And then from Irasu, we continue jiggling around. And this is the classic point mer merge arrival. Now, what I'm going to do is actually plan VNAV of flying the full arrival. And if we get a shortcut direct to Irasu, we're going to use that almighty strong uh, speed break. To, to recapture the profile. This will give you six, 7,000 feet per minute. Um, so, so we'll plan our descent off the full arrival. And for backup descent planning, what we can do is tune the Prague VOR to give us direct distance to the airport. So what we'll do, we'll tune 112.6 now. Give that to Jim. Probably just out of range at the moment. Oh, no, we're not. It's actually 109 miles. So we've got, we'll give uh, 112.6 there for direct distance and 1091 for the ILS on standby. I'll actually we'll make it active. There we are. So that's all set. And uh, let's have a look at this arrival then. So we'll just flick through the UNSF and see, make sure we're happy. So, does it actually not show you the current waypoints? No, it does. Hotel Delta Oscar. And then it's direct to Golop, which is here. Uh, where's the next page? Ah, there we are. So Papa Romeo 516 after Gollop, Papa Romeo 517, then Papa Romeo 518, Irasu. So that's all coded correctly, and there's no constraints there, which you can see, and then we, we start on the arrival here. And how this basic VNAV function works, it's just basically following the full arrival and going, right, I'll generate this top descent point okay, here. If you, if you do 2,000 feet per minute, you'll arrive at 4,000 feet at the correct height. Um, so that's all good. ILS24 then, 191. I've already got it backed up here. Uh, we'll set the VOR on standby in case we missed approach 112.6. Ah, that's very sensitive. Ah! Oh, I just set it up. <laughs> Bit easier to set it here. Oh, why is that not working? Perfect, so 1126191 is the ILS, which will make active. Frequencies are set then, courses will set to 240. To intercept the ILS, you need to go out of RNAV mode. You'll have to go to conventional HSI prior to ISO capture, localizer capture. So frequencies, courses. I think the heading's still set to runway heading in Copenhagen, no problem. Uh, sorry, just confirm that frequency again for Munich, Alpaca 148, Foxtrot. 133230, Alpaca 148, Foxtrot, choose. Send it over to Munchen. 1527 and the direct, can you repeat it? Uh, minimums, to get the minimums call, the minimums call is only based off the RA, which is 200 feet, it's quite a high elevation here. So we'll leave 200 feet set there. Let's just test and then we'll just remember the height is 1358 based off the altitude. Oh, look at that. Traffic crossing traffic, look. Very cool. We're so low here at 27,000 feet. Just finished the ILS brief shortly. Uh, just keep an eye on top of descent as well. Uh, ah, where's OV nav? 17 miles from top of descent. Gives you a target attitude as well. Really cool. Very basic when it works. Just wait for this person to reply to the controller. Well, MSA then. Uh, three, four thousand to the south, three thousand six hundred to the west. Not too bad terrain issues. We'll get uh, either vectors or position via Papa Romeo five three two. Platforms four thousand, three degree path. Minimums we've set is a, is a RA today. Let's get the minimum score. 
RVR's 550 meters. Mr. Approach is climb on 240 to 4,000 feet straight ahead. We'll have no issue stopping this beast as well. Um, Unit Kello, it's Alpaca 14 Juliet Foxtrot, maintaining flight level 270, and we're routing direct to Hotel Delta Oscar. Alpaca 14 Juliet Foxtrot, we're in radar contact. Center level 190. Descent flight level 190, I'll pack a 14 Juliet Foxtrot. So, what we're going to do is set 190, and we'll use the pitch function just to set a thousand feet. So, arm, pitch, I'm just going to trim those down a little bit just to do a thousand feet per minute, reduce a bit of thrust. And I need to put TMS to uh, descent just to make sure we have minimum 60% head to. Top descent, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I love flying this. I love it. It's just unless FMS just makes you use it on, be able to use it easily online. Papa Romeo five three two. Papa Romeo five three two. I'll pack a one four Juliet Foxtrot. Papa Romeo five three two. Let's see where that one is together, guys. Papa Romeo five three two. Papa Romeo five three two. Where is it? Was it on the ILS? Oh, look at that, straight to the initial yeah, fix. Right, that's going to make a big difference to our profile. This will tell us what we need. 31. Oh, straight line. So if we go back to VNAV... Uh-oh, I've broken it. Oh, is it just a 2,000 feet? Oh, 6, 12, 18... From present position to Papa Rabi. Oh, well, I've got the wrong point. I've got the wrong number, didn't I? Oh no, it's number 31. Yeah, Domino Mussina, like the UNS1. So, is Papa Rabi 532 is active? Okay. So, after that, it's just a centre fix. So, VNAV is showing me on target 2,000 feet per minute? Okay. Six twelve eighteen. Total distance is uh, six twelve eighteen. I feel a bit high though. That's seven. Oh no, seven fourteen twenty one. That's ten. That's okay. I'm getting a bit slow here. I'm worried that's not. I'm just going to update this. Just to minus two thousand five hundred. So we're doing a thousand feet per minute. Ah, okay. So that's the from present position, the current rate of descent required. Okay. Ah! Uh, too much going on. And unfamiliarity! Ah, where's delete? Okay, yeah. So that's the, that's the current required rate of set 2200. So what I'm going to do. Let's pitch down to do 2,200 using the pitch trim. There we go. Uh, yeah, we just need to do the landing performance then. Well, we don't because it, we don't need to for this plane. We're going to vacate Charlie, guys. <laughs> no problem. Uh, 118375. Goodbye. 118375. Pi. Right. I think we've got a plan. So, yeah, I'm going to use brakes. The speed break. Just remind me, guys, who fly this plane a lot. Do you extend the speed break out in the flare, the the little rear spoiler? So I'm talking rate of descent now, two one fifty, and we're doing. Yeah, that's fine. That rate of descent's good. Comes out tomorrow. Oh yes. Oh, Charlie's closed by, but no tab. Is it sooner, Andy? Oh, well, I'll have to go at Delta then. So I'm going to use no no brakes and vacate at second left or delta. I checked my no tabs. Uh, yes, uh, I remember. <laughs> Put the seatbelt side back on. Just cycle. Them. Uh, Praha, good evening. Alpaca one four two eight Foxtrot descending to flight level one nine zero inbound Papa Romeo five three two. Alpaca one four two eight Foxtrot level Praha di dar hai resi pa descent to flight level one three zero. Descent flight level one three zero. Alpaca one four two eight Foxtrot. 
So that's set and armed. 3 0 check. Speed's good. Again, target rate and set required 2100, which is pretty much what we're doing. The thrust is set to maintain. It's about 270 knots or so. Speed rate last 200 feet, roger. Some moves just speed rate to control areas and leave the front plane. Ah, that would be better for the engine, I suppose. Go three extra tango, hello, Braha, identified class two flight level two eight zero. Two eight zero, we've got three extra awesome. tango. And I'm sorry, I have seven dollars, Ah, that's better. Report indicated airspeed. But it's not too bad here, bit of cloud around and muck. Okay, keep three. Awesome. Uh, Hanchison, I understand I have to press out our button for, for it to do things, but I don't understand why there was a need for the button in the first place. Quirky play, it's like There's quite a few like that. Dash 8. Yeah, if you don't do it, it won't level 3 0 0 knots or less with go 3 0 tango. This pitch hold is fantastic, really smooth. Look at this. Busy in Prague, uh, members yeah, of that's some event going on here. Standard fuel we took, we should be fine, we just got under 3 tons, our alternate is 2.1 for, for uh, Bruno. <laughs> and then it says you can try real turb add on, it's a game changer, Sigma turb, cloud turb, terrain turb, and cap turb. Turb, 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 turbulence. Oh, I've got a headphone. Really busy in Prague. Okay, Look at this, I love this. The sun is still illuminating the top of the clouds because of the Earth's curvature. So sorry, flat servers. Uh, but obviously, as, as the sun sets, you'll, you'll lose the light on top of the clouds. So aircraft in the cruise here will still see the sun. And you can see that illuminating on the contrail. That, that's just stuff like this that work in Microsoft Flight Simulator is an absolute pleasure to see. That is so cool, the light. Just uh, 127580, I'll pack a 1 to 4J, Fox Drive. Option 5, It's not the most efficient descent, though, not going idle for us, but it works. Oops, wrong frequency. Flight level 160. Land to flight level 160, or to J30. Want to go. Uh, Praha, hello, I'll pack a 1 4 Juliet Fox Trot descending to flight level 130 inbound to Papa Romeo 532. Alpaca 1 4 Juliet Fox Trot, hello, Praha identified, descend to flight level 100, information Quebec. So flight level 100, we'll uh, have a listen to Quebec, I'll pack a 1 4 Juliet Fox Trot. Reference Instagram real story from. <laughs> I'll have a little look at Quebec Lima on the. Uh, Lima Alfa Romeo. So. Oh no, that's not Prague. November 3680, Fox Trot, contact Praha Radar 118. Runway 24, transition level 70, it's, uh, 170 at 7, Cav OK, temperature 11, QNH is 1010. Perfect. So we'll start bringing the speed back to 250 knots now. Alpaca 140, Fox Trot, maintain 250 knots or greater, number 1. Uh, 250 knots or greater, Alpaca 140, Fox Trot. Okay, well, well, we'll keep the speed up and then we'll reduce to 250 at 10,000. Yeah, this V-Nav, you, you just know what rate of descent to, to set. 1750 now, it's actually quite shallow. But So what I'll do, I'll just press once up on the pitch trim. And that will actually help bring our speed back to 250 knots. Hello, hello Matthias, hope you're doing well. Uh, good aircraft, we're surprised about it. Yeah, this aircraft's awesome. Where's the 777 coming out? Can I have a copy? <laughs> Right, I'm looking forward to it. It's good aircraft to come. Uh, Colorado, how's the short field performance in the 146? Don't know much about this little gem. Very, very good. Very uh, slow approach speeds, which reminds me, I forgot to set. So look at this, it's all included here. We're going to go for V-Ref. The only problem is if you press this, it does bug your target speed all the way down, which I don't want yet. I want to do 250. Uh, approaching uncleared. Oh, was I cleared lower? I can't, I can't remember now. Uh, I can't see stuff now. Where's the speed good gone? Ah! I've got where the... It's dark! I need the light on! <laughs> I'm gonna put the floodlight on for a second. <laughs> I can't remember where anything is. Approach good afternoon, Ocean Park Hotel Romeo. It's the next level 190 inbound Papa Romeo 5. Ah, where's the little speed bug gone? Ocean Park Hotel Romeo, hello, Praha Radar identified. This is in flight level 100, information Quebec. 
Now, if I can one four Jet Fox, sorry, was I cleared further descent? Alpaca one four Jet Fox, descent five level seven zero. So five level seven zero, Alpaca one four Jet Fox, probably not then. So seven zero is set. I'm just going to go to IS hold here because that's going to lower my workload because the aircraft's going to pitch for a speed. Target rate of descent is seventeen fifty. Post cruise checks coming up now. Anti ice can come off too. Ocean five hotel runway distance two thousand four zero miles. Are you able to lose height or do you need more? Turn that big uh, uh, light off there. Set. Chest complete. Sorry, say again. Go to the ILS for Jim. Uh, we we got uh, more track light. Uh, Ocean five hotel. There's Pryo over there. Got the Orbex here installed. Got the glide slope here as well. Remember, that's we're not directly flying into the glide slope right now, so it's not an issue. We're still on the flight level here as well. Oh, yeah, thank you very much. You must remind me all, guys, for Altarm. <laughs> Is there a way to? Is there a backlight for this? Uh, that's what I'm missing. Four thousand feet, QNH one zero one zero. Clear to ILS approach, runway two four, speed two one zero knots or greater. Said four thousand feet at QNH. What? Just QNH. Sorry, I'm back on four zero four zero. I've just got blue. Alpaca 140 Foxtrot, QNH 1010 and uh, speed 210 or greater. Thanks. Send 4000 feet, QNH 1010, keep the speed up 210 knots or greater. And after Papa Romeo 532, clear to ILS 24. Alpaca 140 at Foxtrot. Perfect. Oh, yes, replay. Thank you. Ah! Can 423, hello, Praha Radar, identified, descent flight level 100 information. I'm trying to sort it out, I've got too much going on here. Uh, Desktop. Okay, that that rep sets good. So where's my replay? Flight recorder. Right, Perfect. Right, Just starting up now. I'll try to hide the yoke. Ah, that's had the tab tablet. I can't find it. It's too dark in here. Right, replay's running to keep everyone happy. Five miles to run. So I'm going to reduce speed to 210 knots as well. Man, we've got that great speed break as well. Oh, your DME 1 is turned off. Yeah, I've got the RNAV here, but isn't that meant to be on override for that? Ah, how do I turn it on? I, can't, I cannot remember how to turn DME on here. And it's too dark, I need illumination. Ocean 5 Hotel Ramat on the right heading 170. So what I'm going to use now is the pitch trim. So disconnect IS hold. Bring the throttle back a bit, pitch up slightly. There's the turn onto the localizer. I think. Yes, it's good, that's good. Alright, we're looking good here. So let me just... Uh, so I'm going to go, this is where my workload time, where's the heading bug? Give myself an intercept heading. So, heading select. Turn off RNAV. Where's my localizer and live call? Where's localizer? Perfect, and I'm just going to use pitch hold to descend on the glide slope. Ah, oh, this pitch, this pitch function is awesome. You could just simply trim, and it's such a bonkersly non-slippy aeroplane you could just you know leave the thrust to idle and it and and this mode it holds minimum six percent at 160 until four uh just intercepted glide now i'll back on for jet fox drop just pitch down a little bit here oh that's the trim button <laughs> One three four five six zero. Pack one four G eight Foxtrot Pi. I use the trim button as the push, uh, as the uh, push to talk button. Right, uh, use a bit of speed brake now. Uh, 
This is brilliant, this speed rate. If you need to slow down, no problem. Ah, uh, where's my... My slope armed. Perfect. My slope captured. And look at the speed, I could just get the speed break out. Oh, I need to contact Tara. Oh, uh, the work of too many people. Jim, do something. Okay, flap 18 coming out. Oh, I hear that noise. Can I say it again, please? So he wants 160 till 4, which we can give him. Get rid of the speed brake now. This speed brake is just awesome. Perfect. Speed check below 205. Select gear down. Yeah, we'll just wait a little bit longer. That's fine. Still out at uh, 7 miles. Just need to check in as well. Yeah, I, I'm missing some light illumination here. I've, I don't know where to find it. Oh, it's just a pleasure. It's so nice to fly. Uh, Mr. Pro Chattitude, that's what I need to set. 4000. Oh, it's already set. Perfect. Start configuring now, anyway. Gear down. Uh, what was it going to do? It was going to do something. I'm, uh, I'm forgetting many things. Oh yeah, press this button here for the speeds. Flap 33 VRF. There we are. Speed check below 180. Select flaps 24. So 24's coming out now. Tower, hello. It's Alpaca 14 Juliet Foxtrot established. Uh, ILS 24 160 till 4. Speed check below 140. Speed check below 145. Right, 24. Fiddle land, Alpaca 14. Right, slowing down now. There we are. Final approach speed coming up, so starting to add the thrust. And landing check. I've, I've skipped a lot of steps here for the landing check. So there's so much going on here. So uh, I meant to turn off various pumps and, and things like that, uh, but I haven't done that. So, um, on approach there, flaps extended, pumps on as well, bugs are set, and landing lights are on. Check's complete. <laughs> right, I've just noticed the autopilot here is engaged on glide, glide. It's just a little bit low. It's put me at one dot low, three reds here. So the autopilot's struggling a little bit. Speed's getting off though. It's probably not helping matters. Anyway, we'll disconnect now. Autopilot disconnected. Four reds, let's correct that now. It's okay for it, as long as you correct it nice and promptly and before the gate. There we are. Three reds coming up. Just level off here. If you get four reds, like that, you're gonna level off really. But you, at the gate you must just go around if you're not stabilised. Yeah, probably got a bit low on glide because my speed was a bit low. Target speed in the aircraft was struggling. Oh, the pictures are... I'm not used to the picture. The picture's a bit different to what I'm used to, so that's the correct picture there, I think. Check. Get ready to pull the speed brake out. The glide's showing me a bit high, but the pappies are good. Speed's alright. A little bit off centre line. Bit yeah, the pitch is very different to what I'm used to. Uh, a little higher, so let's just go a thousand. There Minimums. we are. Continue. Minimums. Okay, get ready with the speed brake. That's extended. Air brakes. Oh no, it's not. It's that button now because it's not working. A like oh, bit floaty. A bit floaty. The runway's down slope. It's a good job I'm not going for Charlie. <laughs> There we are. Just make sure everything's down there. 72 feet per minute. Right, I've got my spoilers out, haven't I? I think I have. I need to get that all... Is it out? No, it's not out! Oh, no! <laughs> I pressed the slash key, but yeah, I'll get it. I'll get that working next stream. Right. 80 knots. There we are. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Prague. Oh, dear. I need to get my joystick all configured. Nice, nice, nice. Right, there's Delta. Which I planned, obviously, because I knew Charlie was there. Oh, blimey.
Your headset, sir. Ocean 5, what are we out? Our hello. Ah, break, break, and we have one in zero, and we two, four, time for take off. Perfect. So there's Delta. I'll get the flaps up. Perfect. I can turn the sim up now because it's very quiet when it's on the ground. It's just like take for take off, runway two, four, time for have you one eight zero. Now back on 4 Juliet Foxtrot vacated Delta. Now back on 4 Juliet Foxtrot, Roger, taxi Foxtrot, Hotel 1, stand 28, cross runway 1-2. And uh, cleared, uh, taxi Foxtrot, Hotel 1, cross 28 for stand 1-2. Uh, Alpaca 1 4 Juliet Foxtrot. So Foxtrot's yeah, the... Alpaca 1 4 Juliet Foxtrot, negative, taxi Foxtrot, <laughs> Hotel 1, uh, stand 28, cross runway 1-2. <laughs> <laughs> Foxtrot Hotel 1 uh, for stand 28, click cross runway 1 2. I'm back on 148 Foxtrot. Too many numbers and letters whilst writing things down. Right, Foxtrot is the right taxiway, the right most taxiway. <laughs> we get my teeth back in. Right, awesome stuff. Well, guys, what do you think then? Did you enjoy that? I really enjoyed this. I'm going to fly it again. And I'm going to get my speed brake properly deployed. Oh, I hope I, I hope I did it proud. Anyway, remember, I do not turn that so down. Uh, I don't fly this plane. Uh, I've not flown it for almost a year. And I only installed it yesterday. So yeah. Oh, listen, listen. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just like audio, uh, it's gone for some Caribbean music in here. Right, I better just check my taxi routing here. So we have been cleared across uh, runway one two, not runway two eight, and then it was Foxtrot Hotel one, and it's stand number twenty eight, all the way down here. Okay, so it's a straight line basically, stand twenty eight over here. So I need to now do my GSX thing, PSC. Stand 28, and we've been cleared to cross the runway. I'm going to get the AP up and running as well. Strobes, I know I'm crossing the runway, but I'll turn it off in anticipation of crossing it. I'm going to turn that light on as well. Oh, that's better. Uh, what else? What was the AP up? Is it? Oh, yeah. It looks like Caribbean music. <laughs> yeah, it's just the AP spawning up. Yeah, standard fuel, no problem. Yeah, we'll see how much fuel we burn in comparison to the flight plan. I think it's quite close. Taxi on. Yeah, they're very dark, aren't they, the taxi lights? It's just like the 737 old school lights. Right, stand number 28 then. Let me GSX this bad boy. And it's on gates. Oh gosh, which one is it? Uh, I don't know which gate that is. Terminal 2? I know I'm taxiing, it's just a straight line, but can anyone tell me which gate I need to select here? Stand 28's over there. What? It's Pier C? Gate C, maybe. Yes, there we go. Stand 28. Request follow me? No, I know where I'm going. Perfect. <laughs> this music. <laughs> oh dear. Awesome add on. Very, very pleased with it. We're going to do another stream in it. Just because I don't want to forget everything I've learned in the last 24 hours. Because <laughs> I had to sit down and study the plane again. Oh dear. We'll fly again in the next couple of days. Maybe two sectors, hey? We've not done two sectors in this aircraft, I don't think. Right. There's stand 28. There's all the crew there. I've done something correctly on GSX for once. Make sure the great ATC as well. Stand Oh, uh, 29! Ah! Oh no! <laughs> Good uh, yes, 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 yes. yes. Uh, turns like a dime, this thing. <laughs> oh, awesome. I wonder if it will try and attach the uh, air bridge. Oh, look, it's got the. I love these boards. It tells you if you're left or right. It's just a simple reflection. Very, very cool. There we go. No one saw that bit. No one saw that. We got about. Perfect. Uh, oh. I'm sure I could be a bit efficient and shut some engines down here. 
Oh, that'll do. 0 0.2. Right. Parking brake set. Uh, APU's available. And I think it's already on the APU bus, isn't it? So, uh, where, where is it? AP, APU generator's already on. So all I think I've got to do is shut the engines down. Minimums, minimums, minimums. Approaching minimums. There we are. Amazing. Cabin crew doors to manual cross track, which I think opens the doors, doesn't it? Automatically. It'll be interesting to see what the air bridge does. See. <laughs> let's see what happens here. GSX is got a bit wonky, I think. Uh, let's see what happens when I press request deboarding. I'm curious. Oh. Uh, oops. Uh, let's see what happens. Oh, it's going to extend the stairs. And is that going to go to? Oh my goodness me! <laughs> Good old GSXA. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, fantastic. Well, that's one way of getting the passengers off. <laughs> Very good. Right, I didn't do much um, of the uh, shutdown checklist. Let me just do a little bit of that because I want to fly this again soon, so I better get in the habit. The passengers are getting off. I'll be interested to see where they're going. Uh, so we've got, I've got oh, I've got too much music going off now. Uh, let me just do the after shutdown checklist. Uh, taxi lights are off. Turn off lights are off. Master wheel system hydraulic pumps can come off, uh, which are here. Oh, no, they're fuel pumps. Oh, where's the hydraulic pump? There we are. Engine 3 and engine 2 hydraulic pumps off. Generator 1 and 4 to off. Trip. Frost levers are done to fuel off. Fast belts off. We can actually get off now. Heaters can come off. Beacon lights. Oh, yeah, I need to turn the beacon off and see how we did on New Sky. Beacon lights still on. Isn't it? There we are. Closed flight. Get it okay. So, where are the. Pa oh, yeah, look, you can see all the passengers are just getting off the rear. Now, why is getting all the passengers off at the rear a bad idea, guys? Anyone know? Why do we never board or off offload by the rear only? There you can see them all running away. Perfect. <laughs> I'll stop the replay as well. Take off that sim. Great controlling as ever. Tipsy plane! It will tip! Tail tipping! Very good. Very, very good. Right, just before we go and do the replay, though, I want to see how I scored. Uh, I want to be top out back airways pilot. <laughs> right. Yeah, awesome add on. Uh, massive thanks to. Um, why can't I get back in the cockpit now? That's weird. Interesting. My controls to get in the cockpit are not working. Oh! I've accidentally pressed the button, so my keyboard got disconnected. There we are. Um, yeah, let's just see how we got a new sky. Um, so let's end the flight. Oh, what? My, why did I get a 10 out of 10? 9.75. Maximum landing weight exceeded. Max anyway is 37,648 by 57 kilos. No, I did not. No, get out of here. What's the maximum landing weight? I know you guys can't see much of the flight, but this is this is preposterous. I took, I didn't even take a full load of passengers. I took minimum fuel. Max landing weight 37.6, 37,648. Ah, maybe I did. <laughs> so what did I take then? I took, I took this amount of passengers. And this amount of fuel, I was only 500 kilos below. Maybe, yeah, actually, in, I'd, can you guys actually see this? See that down there, look, max landing weight. I was only 500 kilos less. Maybe I did save that much fuel. What was our fuel burn? 580, 612, 80, 24, 2,350 kilos, and we we're expected to burn. Uh, trip. Oh, yeah. We actually saved. Well, no, trip plus taxi. Where's that? Oh, we don't have trip plus taxi on these flight plans. Yeah, maybe that plus there, yeah? 50 kilos off, I think that's quite accurate, actually. Wow, you can't take any extra fuel, can you, in the, in the 146, though? Right, anyway, what else? Off oh, center line, anyways. Yeah, okay, I'll give you that. Long landing, yeah, I'll give you that. <laughs> Great touchdown, though. Fuel used is lower than estimate. Yeah, yeah. Well, what? Fuel used is 2,115 kilos lower than an estimated minimum. Does that mean I get more 40, points for saving fuel? 30, I don't 20, know. I'll take it. 10. Yeah, don't ever land below max 30, uh, above max anyway. Thanks, Flywalder. Appreciate it.
great fun, just out of interest do you make the same funny noises and comments in the face of adversity when flying on the line? I do all the time, yeah, yeah. if I make a mistake. What I do do, and there's a, an FOA fly here with a lot, what noise is it I make at top of descent, guys, if I start descending quite quickly? And every time I fly me, he goes, he does make the same sound. <laughs> <laughs> he goes. He says, "You're gonna do it like in your live stream. What's that? I'll see if anyone gets it in chat first. <laughs> oh dear. Um. So you had. Uh, so you would have to had to reject that huge shortcut at the last. Yeah. Mate. Yeah. To get the fuel done. Yeah. That's it. I often do that. Don't <laughs> I? Oh yeah. That was like the wee, wee. That's what I do. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I do wee, that's it. No, I don't make the same sounds, it's purely for entertainment only. Uh, anyway, before we do the replays, as I said, massive thanks to Just Flight for sending me early access to V2. We'll fly again in the next few days. Uh, I'll think of a nice little two sector hop we can do. Um, maybe this weekend, we'll see. Uh, before I jump into anything else, because it's, again, it, when I fly a different aircraft, I have to spend. I probably spent four or five hours yesterday just doing a test sector, learning it again. And, and whilst it's in my short to medium term memory, I like to fly it again before I forget everything else. Um, so yeah, we'll do a nice little four sector. I'll see what a two sector. We'll see what events are going on as well, and what sceneries are available. Because I really like using cause the default airports are crud uh, in in Microsoft's flight simulator. I do like to install third party scenery. So I'll see see what are available. And uh, we'll, we'll plan something around that. Uh, awesome. Uh, Captain, my any 757 streams on the horizon missed my 48 month message. Oh, Donna, did I miss it? Oh, I haven't had. Uh, did it ping up? I've had some not ping up there. Flying Walnut, thank you. 40. Oh, Donna, I missed it. Sorry. Was it because it was still on Yoke Camp, perhaps? Uh, I know where I'm going. You're still sure about that? Also, any 75 streams on the horizon? Ah, oh, I'm sorry I missed that as well. That's a, That was a four-year iconic one as well, and your comment the other day as well. So thank you very much for your continued support and your, me and your time as a uh, member and moderator, buddy. Uh, Ruben Schwartz as well. Thanks for joining as a member. I've only just seen that too, so so welcome board, guys, as well. Two bads, man. <laughs> I don't know if I've seen you. Brilliant. So, yeah, massive thanks to Just Flight. You can grab V2 tomorrow morning. It's out. Um... I think, it, as just like I was saying, this aircraft is still on sale at the moment, so you can pick it up, and then you can have V2 from tomorrow as well. And you can watch all my videos for all the uh, information you need to fly this aircraft accurately. Uh, no, just like I actually have some great videos, I think, uh, based on all their, their planes. Right, anyway, let's chit chat more replaying. So, what I'll do, I've logged off Fat Sim, I'll uh, start the. How do I just. I can't have that music playing in the background. Ah. <laughs> uh. We need fucking replay music. There we are. Uh, so I think there's a panel state for flight, which which quickly configures the plane. Let me just grab that uh, aircraft panel state. I'll put it for ready for takeoff. Spam the flaps so the replay will work, work accurately. I'll just make it a little bit lighter. Just probably around the time we landed. It's about 20 minutes ago. Ah, oh, we'll do that so we can enjoy it there. Let me just turn off GSX as well. I have right faff doing a replay in Microsoft Flight Sim, so if I just restart that thing, there we are. I uh, hope it doesn't break it with the uh, air bridge. Let me press replay. Ooh. I, f I think that's working. Oh, I think that's just the gear warning horn going off because the gear's coming down. Can I extend it, man? No, I can't. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I haven't got the replay music going off. Oh. Uh, pro professional streamer. There we go. Why is the gear not down? Quickly, quickly, quickly! <laughs> uh, Sick Yet V2 comes out tomorrow, folks. Look forward to it. Thanks to Stream Captain. You're most welcome, buddy. Uh, Firefox, Orbex, or any leads for performance accuracy. Is there an event going on in Leeds? I did see that on the back of my event. Maybe there, and it'll be good fun to fly the aircraft. I've done Leeds loads. But uh, I know you guys all love the UK airports, and you are from the UK. I, I tried it yesterday, it's okay. It, it sort of doesn't work terribly well. <laughs> Crikey, gear leaves the wrong place. See how it looked there? Yeah, it was a bit of a float and I was off centre line. It really has it listed in. I've not tried to explain for a while. I'm just waiting for them to fix the copper lighting, really. A little bit of right rudder came in. Not bad for time, we got the replay music though, was it? 
<laughs> What's that far off sense line? That was a bit harsh. Yeah, I'll get the speed break all working correctly. Did you just see that replay music and replay that? There we are. That's really cool. The animations all work, don't they? On the it's like the nose wheel just touching down. Ah, oh, nice one, sweaty cam. <laughs> Love your username. Uh, congratulations, doing your first ever landing. Very nice. Performance is sweet in the sim now. Awesome. Right, just pause that there. Just wish we had the flyby view. Yeah, it was a bit floaty, a little bit of a crosswind. Ooh, it, it handled quite nicely. <laughs> I love that sound of the tyres. Brilliant. Lower the nose. Yeah, look at the nose. The nose really <laughs> kept going down. There we are. Kai, okay, it's the uh, flight recorder replay tool. Amazing. Right, I'll pop you in the wing view. Let's do that one. Awesome. Right, guys, I'll pop you here on a shortish final. Where are we there? We're a little bit closer in than that. You can hear the flaps extending and the noise. That's really cool. Awesome, there we go. So, yeah, once again, massive thank you to Just Fly for sending me a copy of V2 out tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, of course, you can get the 146 straight away if you so wish. Really enjoyed flying. It's been a while since we've flown it. As I said, we'll fly it again very, very soon. I uh, hope I showed a lot of the features. Don't forget, not just the UNS, GSX integration as well. Lots of bug fixes as well. You can make a virtual coffee too. Um, so there's a lot of uh, tools uh, and features with the aircraft as well. Uh, thank you to everyone that uh, pops into the stream, dropped as a member, renewed as a member, and to all the donations as well. Thank you very much for your generosity. Really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, as I said, uh, a few more streams in the next week and a half or two as I am on annual leave. Uh, excellent. Enjoy the rest of your evening, morning, afternoon, wherever you are, guys, and I'll see you all again very soon. Goodbye, friends.